What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and we're going to look at Flow Analytics. So Flow Analytics allows you to analyze how your flows are doing, how many successful uh, runs they've had, how many errors, how many cancelled, and that sort of thing. Now, Traditionally, we looked at analytics from a single flow perspective, so how, how much it ran, when it ran, etc. I'm going to show you how you can see your flow analytics for your entire you know, environment inside your organization. So let's take a look here. All right, I'm in Power Automate here. Uh, I've got a list of my flows, so I can look at my flows and I can see how they've done individually. So if I click on this one, one draft business flow that I've been testing with recently, um, not only do I get the run history at the bottom so I can see all the runs down here and I can see whether they were you know, failed or whether they were successful or not, and I get this for the last 28 days, um, I can see you know, how long it took to run, you know, when they ran, etc. And I can get that as a CSV or I can you know, filter this list of successful runs or unsuccessful runs. So it does give me a lot of, a lot of really good information. If I go back to that flow, I do have this analytics button up here. So I can click on this button and then I can see this. So I can see my usage. So I can see how many runs this has done by days. Uh, I think a couple of these ones uh, I may have got into a bit of a loop here. Uh, but I can see all these, the, all these beautiful Power BI charts. I can see the number of flow runs, the successful and the failed. Um, and then I can see this trend down here. Um, I can pop these graphs out and I can make them a bit bigger, for instance. I can use filters on here if. I can so I can I can do this by flow runs. Um, I can you know sort by sending and descending. It's not really a great thing on a pie chart. I should probably choose a uh, bar chart. Um, I can I can add filters on here of like flow runs instead of like aggregation. So instead of like days, this is number of runs. Um, so I can do these sorts of cool things and these cool effects and these cool uh, analytics. I also have a date range where I can select last 30 days, last 14 days, last seven days and I can see um, the errors as well. So this, this is a really great thing. I can filter these things. This is a great Power BI chart that is just out of the box for you uh, for Power Automate. But all of these things, everything that we've seen here, are individual to that flow. So you're only, you're only getting a small snapshot of your organization and of, of your flow runs. So what we want to do is we want to see all of the flows and see how they're all doing and that way we can identify trends in terms of um, how often a flow is being run uh, and then we can look at those individual flows and then see right okay is this triggering too much is it triggering enough is it efficient enough is it not efficient enough but we can't do that from just looking at a single flow at a time because if you have a massive organization it will just take you far too long and that's where the power platform admin sense comes in so we'll switch over to that now so this is the Power Platform Admin Center, and I have details of my environments here, and I also have this button that says Analytics on the left, which you can expand, and then you can see the analytics for your environments uh, across your tenant. So right here, I've got Power Automate as an option, but I also have Common Data Service and Power Apps as well. We just look at Power Automate for today. So click Power Automate, and again, we're going to get this really rich Power BI embedded charts. Um, so we can see certain things. So we've got daily runs here, we've got weekly runs here, here and we've got monthly runs here. So I can actually see on like daily how often these flows are triggering. I can see, so the green is the successful runs, we got the black bit which is the failed runs, we got the red ones which are the cancelled runs, and then we've actually got a total run which is the yellow line that goes across it. I can make, uh, I can make this one bigger. Uh, and we can kind of you know dive into this data and go, Do you know what, that's that's really good data that we, we're seeing the number of uh, failed runs. And again, we can do all these cool things of like filtering by successful runs and, and sorting by successful runs and um, you know doing all these things. We can show it as a table, so we can actually see uh, the data as a table if that's any better for you. And and again, we can kind of do certain things in here, make columns slightly bigger and wider. So there's loads of great content, loads of great Power BI um, wizardry going on here. So the one you get first is the daily runs, the weekly runs, and the monthly runs. So it looks like in May I've run 34,000 um, total flows. That's quite incredible. And this is by environment as well. So this is actually saying, you know, showing the data for the MCJ environment uh, for the last 28 days. 
and I can change the filters and I can change the environment from here and choose a different environment or I can say actually I don't need the last 28 days, I only really need the last 7 days. So we get the last 28, 14 and 7 days. I can also see the usage. So I can click on, click on this one and I can see right okay these are the types of flow that we use. This is a schedule flow, this is system events, so this is when something else has triggered it like a record being created in CDS or an email being received in your Outlook or something like that. Uh, we have button clicks. I'm actually surprised button clicks aren't higher because I use, I use manual trigger flows for everything. Um, and we can see this in a, in a lovely table as well of like, right, okay, this is the button click and this is the flow name and we can see which one I've triggered the most so that <laughs> the one I've triggered the most this month is the OneDrive for Business with 188 runs. This is me constantly testing my OneDrive for Business flows and doing other things. Um, and it also gives us some other information. So system events is giving me a Druid here. So maybe I can link that to something else and, and find out where that triggered from. So I've got loads of great data here that I can use for all my analytics and here are my flow trends. So how, how often my flows are triggering. We also have a creation chart as well, a created chart. So how many flows have been created? Um, you know, this one types of flows, we've got system event and button clicks. Uh, we can see when they're being created. So you can see and you can find your, your makers because we've got the flows created and we've got the, the details of who's making them. So you can you know empower your users and say, hey, you know, I've seen you building a lot of flows in the environment at the moment. Do you need a hand? Do you want me to come and you know talk to you about like how we can use the flows and how we can make you more productive? So this is a really great tool to be able to see that information without people having to tell someone, hey, I build a lot of flows. Can you come give me a hand? I'm stuck on something. We can also see the errors because uh, you know errors are something that happen all the time. And as you can see, they're that um they are broken down by error type. So we've got actions failing, uh, which is quite a high one, bad gateways, bad requests, those are always good, forbidden, can't do that. Uh, not found, don't know where it is. Uh, unauthorized, still can't do that. Um, and 423, which uh, I think is a gateway issue, but I don't know. Uh, but again, we, we get all this information about like how many times it errored and on what flows it's erroring. So right now I can see all of these. And if I pop this chart up, uh, I can sort my error count and I can go, do you know what, that push notification for my email reminders, it keeps failing. I really need to go and disable that flow and then fix it and come back to it. But I wouldn't know that unless I went into the flow or in, if someone reported that the flow was failing. I just don't know it. Especially if it's a personal flow as well. If it's a personal flow, I'm not going to have access to that um, unless I come into this Power Platform Admin Center, in which case I do have access to it. I can see that it's failing. I can go and talk to the person that owns it and says, hey, your flow is failing. Let's take a look at it. Let's do something. So it's really good. Uh, and the last one, oh, sorry, two more we got. Uh, we have shared. So this is the number of flows that are shared. Uh, I haven't shared any flows. There's no data here. So, oh well. Um, but we also have connectors. Connectors are very important for a business. You don't want your users to just be able to connect your data to anywhere like around the world because they may steal the data or it may become unsafe if it goes to unsafe sources. So using the connectors chart, you can see the most common use of connectors and what those connectors are and who's using them. So in my instance, I've got um, I've got OneDrive, uh, OneDrive for Business flow runs. I had 113 with that connector. Uh, we have RSS, we have Common Data Service, Office 365, Excel Online, YouTube. Um, this is how I post all my videos to YouTube. Is like you know I use Power Automate to do that. It's a peek behind the curtain. Um, uh, uh, and yeah, and Twitter as well. So like you know all of these different connectors and flow runs, um, and I can see um, how many times we're calling different things and how many times we're invoking it. Um, and we've got loads of great data. So. I could, I could, as an admin, I could see, hey, you're using this connector. I didn't know that connector was available. I can go add a new policy to say, right, this connector is blocked and you're no longer allowed to use this. Or I can see, hey, you're using um, this connector, but it's deprecated. Hey, let's let's move this onto a new connector and let's you know get get your uh, get your automation really running really well. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. So there is a really great analytics tool so you can see all the flows in your environment, 
all the flows in your tenants as long as you have access to them. Um, and you can see them all in one place. You can see what's failing. You can see who's sharing flows. You can see who's building flows. You can see who's connecting data and what they're connecting to. And you can see all the run, runs of the flows. So this is a really good, really powerful tool that is kind of hidden away. You know, not a lot of people go here as far as I know. So I want to highlight this fantastic analytics function to everyone. So I hope you guys learned something from this today. Um, if you like this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that'd be much appreciated. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel for new daily videos. And I'll see you next time.